uh, today's uh, uh, session we will be discussing about uh, the unit 1.1 of the solar panel installation uh, handbook for technician so unit 1.1 consists of the basics of electricity and power generation system so this is the basics of the uh, electricity why because our solar panels they are dealing with electricity okay so it begins with the basic terms used in electricity uh, like the current the voltage power energy okay now first of all what is electricity so basically electricity that is a natural force okay that comes into existence whenever there is a flow of electric charge between two components okay so when working the circuit now here a term comes a circuit so what is circuit circuit is basically a combination of uh, some elements okay so elements can be anything it could be any conductor it could be any a source so they are connected together it forms a circuit so in a circuit there is a need for the users to be aware that about some of the basic concepts so the basic concepts are current voltage power energy so current what is current first of all so the electrons inside any material they move and they form a current so basically current is the movement of electrons so it is in a particular direction and the unit of current that is ampere next thing is the voltage so in an electrical circuit okay, the current flow that takes place in a particular direction which i said there is direction from a higher voltage to the lower voltage so basically voltage is what that is the force which is pushing electrons through the a conductor not only conductor any medium okay so most probably here we will be dealing with uh, this conductors any type of load okay next thing that is power okay so when electricity flows in a electric circuit so some type of work is done okay so what can be the work so some of the examples like a fan the fan is uh, moving it is rotating okay so similar this is the work done then uh, in a refrigerator the cooling is taking place inside the refrigerator so this is the work it is being done by electricity okay so whenever electricity flows through any appliance some type of work is done okay so the rate okay so the rate at which in electric circuit transfers electric energy okay this is called as electric power so what is the rate first of all we say the quantity the energy here that is changing and we and it is being measured with respect to time so this is the rate that how this thing is changing the energy is changing so electric power is similar to mechanical power and can be considered as a rate at which electric work is done okay so the unit of uh, power that is watt so here the mathematical expression is there p that is equal to work done then per unit time so what is it we have we are measuring the work done with respect to time so work done per unit time that becomes a, a power okay so another mathematically we can express it as a product of voltage and current now in fact what is current current is the flow of electrons okay so q that is a charge with respect to time that becomes current so q upon t i we can write i as q upon t okay next okay next thing is grid what is grid so electric power that is produced by electric generation generators in a power generating unit okay this unit that is a grid means a grid we are having this power generation then uh, this power that is generated that is supplied to the load what is the load where the power is being consumed so residential load could be there commercial load could be there okay so generator is not the only source to produce electricity other sources which are used uh, like the battery okay and how much energy is delivered how much it is consumed by the load load could be like our house house itself is a load electricity is being consumed there so it can be measured by using a energy meter so same energy meter which are being installed near the load centers like the meter which is installed at our household okay next thing is energy so if the electric power 
is the rate at which the work is done. Then energy is the total amount of work done. Okay, in any given time period. So what does that mean? Total work done in a time period. Okay, so, so what does that mean? That power multiply by time. It was time period into work done. Total work done, that is power in a time period to multiply by that period. Then we get the energy. Okay, so here the mathematical expression for energy that is equal to power into time or power is equal to energy upon time. Okay, so they are interrelated, energy and power. So unit of energy, we, okay, we will come to it in our uh, coming topic. Okay, now Ohm's law. So what does Ohm's law states? That with physical conditions remaining same, current flowing through any conductor is directly proportional to the voltage across the conductor. So mathematically, I that is equal to V upon R. Okay, so current is proportional to voltage means as the voltage is changing, the current is also changing by the same proportion. To remove this proportionality, make it into equality, we use a constant. That constant is the resistance. So resistance is what? Basically, it is just an obstruction in the flow of current. Now, coming to the next term, electric circuit. Okay, so okay, that I have discussed interconnection of various uh, elements, various components, they form a circuit. So it could be any source, so battery that is a source, a conductor, a wire, okay, a switch that is an element, load that is an element where the power is being uh, supplied. Okay, so here in the figure, the load is, is shown here. First of all, there is a battery or the power supply, the switch, the load. In the next one, there is a battery and there is a LED lamp. Lamp is what? It is a load. Battery that is a source that is supplying power to the lamp or the load. Okay, so electric power that flows in two forms. First of all, it is DC power and one it is AC power. So DC the power or the DC power that is basically it is constant. It is only in the same, it is having the same magnitude and it flows in only one direction. Means there is no change. It is fixed. Every time it is the same. Okay, in case of AC, Okay, the current AC current or AC voltage that is alternating current or alternating voltage that alternates with time. It means it is never it is constant. It is minimum, it increases, then it goes to a maximum value, again decreases, becomes zero, then reverses its direction, flows in the opposite side, then increases, then comes to zero. So here in the figure 1.1.2, the red line that shows the direct current, whereas the green uh, curve that shows the alternating current. So how many uh, such type of changes the current makes in one second that is the frequency. So what is the frequency standard frequency in India that is 50 Hertz means in 50 times the current is changing. Next series and parallel circuit. Okay, so elements like uh, uh, in this case, it is a lamp. They can be connected in series, it means one after the another, and the current that is falling through a single path, then all of those elements we are connected in series. Okay, like in 1.1.3, the first case, the series circuit, two lamps are there and they are connected in the same path, same current is flowing through both of them, then they are connected in series. Okay, on the other side, on parallel circuit, both of the components, they are connected in parallel. How they are connected in parallel? Their end points of both of these elements are connected to the same point. Means the current is dividing between these two elements. Okay, so in a series circuit, current is same. Voltage across both of the elements are different. Whereas in case of a parallel circuit, the voltage across both of the elements are same, but the current is different. Okay, now how to measure the different parameters, voltage, current, resistance. 
for the measurement of these quantities the two type of multimeters multimeter name suggest multi then meter means many quantities this uh, multimeter that can measure so what two type of multimeters are there analog and digital so analog there's a pointer is there it uh, moves to a certain value okay on the other hand digital multimeter there a pointer is not there in the display a numeric value displays that becomes a digital multimeter Okay, next different type of quantities ac voltage dc voltage ac current dc current resistance all of these quantities can be measured by using a multimeter so how we used to measure it check the connecting probes or the wires black and red colored wires okay we have to put it on the terminal where we want to measure the quantity okay then switch of the knob the knob is in the, in the center of the multimeter switch it to the related quantity you want to measure the voltage so take the knob to the voltage put the wires across the two points where you want to measure the voltage and in the display we will get the voltage similarly we want to measure the resistance okay here in the diagram the measurement of dc voltage that is shown here so the black and red colored cables leads they are connected to the terminals of the battery and it is showing a voltage of 4.81 volt similarly in this case 236 in the second diagram 1.1 by 6 the 236 volt this voltage is present in the terminal of the socket shown there in case of resistance just connect the two terminals of the resistance with the two leads black and red color lead twist the knob take it to the resistance side and here 11 that is being displayed now how to measure power just measure the voltage measure the current and multiply them now how to measure the electricity energy electric energy here we need an energy meter so very common this one the diagram 1.1.8 the analog or the electro uh, the induction type energy meter that is shown here the currently it is not used in a very few places it would be still be remaining otherwise everywhere electronic energy meters have been used okay they directly show the energy consumed okay now power generating system so it consists of three phases power generation power transmission and power distribution the so power generation takes place by using different type of energy resources so different type of fuels nuclear it could be coal it could be hydro so this type of fuels they are used to generate electricity in a power plant this energy generated that is transmitted to long distance using a transmission network the transmission network is shown transmission tower is there transmission lines are there after that another substation is there which is making the power level suitable for the consumer further this power is fed to the consumer okay so here the small activity is given so missing values in the table okay here two values are given voltage current and power and different components fan led tv refrigerator motor so two quantities are given and we have to find out the third quantity in any every case so it is simple we have to use the relation power p is equal to v into i okay all of them they are dc load so just uh, use the relation p is equal to v into i two values are given in the case of fan 12 volt is given 2.5 ampere is given how much power just multiply these two 12 into 2.5 30 watt yeah, next led volts are not given current is given power is given so voltage v is equal to p upon i okay so how much it will be it will be 1.5 divided by 0 0.5 so 3 volt okay similarly we can determine the other quantities now the second case here we have to determine the energy so what is energy energy is 
power into time. So in, uh, here T into T that is the total energy. So different components, tube light, okay, another tube light, fan one, fan two, TV, cooler, computer, LED light, then AC, two AC, and some unknown appliances. They are given, we have to determine the energy. So in the first case, 40 watt power is given, time is given four hours, just multiply them, 40 into four, 160 watt hour. Okay, in another case, 40 watt power is given, but the tube light, second tube light, time is not given, energy is 400 watt hour. How to find out the uh, duration or the time? Just divide 400 watt hour energy by the power. So 400 divided by 40, that gives 10 watt hour. Similarly, in case of fan, 60 watt for 12 hours, multiply these two, 480 watt hour. Okay, similarly, we can proceed for the, all the other elements as well. So in this way, we can calculate the energy. Okay, so we should stop.